I've decided just to talk about a few projects that we're, uh, we've worked on and are working on in the center of Berlin. Um, we've been working in Berlin now for 15, 15 years, and the major project was the reconstruction, restoration of the Neues Museum, which is part of the complex of buildings on the museum island. It was, and now again is, the home of the Egyptian collection. Um, and for nearly 60 years, it remained as a ruin. Um, this is a view uh, past the Noise Museum, is on the right-hand side. And while we were working on Noise Museum, we won the competition to build a small gallery house uh, facing um, the museum island. Um, it was uh, a work that we did in, in the process of, of the, the work we were doing on Noise Museum, and we, we learnt a number of, of, um, of um, lessons from this uh, incredibly lengthy process of the Noise Museum of, of building with brick and, and uh, also using certain techniques of, of, uh, of um, washing brick with render, which were techniques we, we were using to within the museum, which we then applied to this building. Let's show you very quickly. And it also gave us, um, in a way, the confidence of, uh, while, while the, there was an enormous discussion about the museum island itself and about Noyes Museum, this, uh, in a way, gave us an opportunity to complete one part of this complex. Um, and of course, it's, and that building is sitting here. It's not part of the the institution, the museums, but it sits very um, strategically connected. Here is the Noise Museum, and uh, the Noise Museum was uh, built by by the same architect as the National Gallery here, the the, the Stockholm Museum, National Museum, um, uh, August Stuller. Here is Schinkel's uh, Alters Museum, and the Lustgarten is here in the Schloss. Uh, the original Schloss was here. Um, the, the complex of, of buildings includes the Pergamon Museum and the, the National Gallery. We won the, the competition to, to restore the Noyes Museum, rebuild the Noyes Museum, and uh, that developed into a master plan for a new building on the island. I'm going to show these two projects very briefly. Uh, first of all, and, and uh, in sort of anti-chronological order, this, this um, infrastructure building. Um, the, the ruin of Neues Museum was, uh, was left as a ruin for a long time, partly because of technical reasons, partly because um, that the... Um, the, uh, the interiors were, are so linked to the exhibits and are so complex. And it was very, there was, a, there was a continuous discussion about the status of these interiors and the status of the type of restoration that should happen. When we won the competition, we won the competition on the premise that um, we should not make a copy of the original building. Um, but at the same time, the building was the most extraordinary ruin, and that this there was a sense well, we were, we felt very strongly that we shouldn't lose this quality. Um, sorry, just very briefly explain this. Part of that complex, the part of that argument that that, that we we put forward was that this building should should not. Uh, struggle with a lot of activities that the museum wanted to put on the museum island. That meant that we needed a, an extra building to deal with those infrastructural um, elements that the museums had anticipated putting into the Noyes Museum. Those elements were, are, are to do with uh, um, things that the museum complex you know, never had, auditoriums, temporary exhibition spaces, things like this. This is an image of the um, uh, original, uh, this is before the war, looking uh, at the Kolonatenhof. This is uh, 
Stuller's colonnade going around the museum island and engaging into the National Gallery and the east facade of, of uh, Neues Museum and the, uh, the back of uh, Schinkel's building. When we came, I'm going to have to flip again, when we came to think about what this building could be, um, uh, the, there was clearly an issue about how do you put a modern building in such a historical condition. We took clue from the colonnades, the colonnades that you see running around the, the island, and from these, uh, in a way, urban scale gestures which exist uh, on the museum island, these staircases which make these buildings relate in a way not you know, programmatically to their, to, the, to their immediate surroundings, but in a way to the, to the larger scale. And those were the elements that we then took forward. And then this is a, an image of, of uh, Schinkel's from the Alters Museum looking back out of the Lustgarten. We were sort of fascinated by this idea of public space uh, being uh, both you know, defined and undefined. These people are standing inside Schinkel's building, but they're actually, you know, in a way, on a continuation of the Lust Garden. These ideas became the theme for the new entrance building, so-called James Simon Gallery, and it's a continuation of the colonnades and the porches, and constructed as a, uh, in, a, in a way su suppressing the program of the project into its sockle, so the temporary exhibition spaces and uh, auditoriums are in here, and this becomes in a way a giant hall for people to meet, because in a way that was the description of the, the project. We realized that there was a sort of struggle at the beginning about the fact that this building really was defined only by functionality, and then we realized that what we needed to do was to turn in a way, identify its purpose, its purpose being a place where people meet. Um, that's now in construction and will be completed in 2017. Now, just very briefly, I've probably done this in the wrong order. It would have been better to do the Noise Museum first. Here's the Noise Museum. There's the, the ruin of the Noise Museum. As I say, it stood as a ruin for 60 years. Um, over those 60 years, it developed its own... Uh, stability in a way. It, it relaxed into be becoming a ruin. Um, it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't the same ruin as it was in, uh, in uh, 1945. The, the weather and the elements turned it even into a, a sort of nearly a Pompeian ruin and uh, a completely inconsistent damage and some fragments still there some decorations there, and other parts completely missing. Uh, the idea was to restore it completely, and as this is such a quick description, I have to just explain to you the principal idea. Principally, we wanted to hold on to all of this, um, in a way, this... Uh, we did not want to lose the quality of the ruin. We didn't want to lose the fabric that was there, and in a typical restoration, you take down all of this uh, broken material and you restore it and you, you get it back together. And I'm going to show you the slides that explain how we did it, which was essentially to, to stabilize and to clean everything and, and everything was there and then add to that and try and make sense out of those things. So this is, this is one room where this is what we inherited, this is stabilized, then we started to clean it, then we started to fill the gaps in a way, and we used all sorts of different devices, and of course every room had suffered different levels of ruination, therefore every um, surface has to, you know, we have to decide what to, uh, to add, in what way. In this, in this room we had fragments of the original color, but this wasn't sufficient in a way to give us an idea of coloring the whole room. So now in the, in the conclusion you see original elements, you see uh, cleaned elements, and you see um, completely new elements. Then this process went through the whole building, so the staircase completely destroyed. Uh, the idea was to, in a way, to recreate the form of these buildings, 
but not to not to um, uh, imitate the uh, sorry the, the form of the spaces, but not to imitate the decoration. Therefore, every uh, you know element that was put back was trying to bring back a, a sense to the to the spaces, but not to um, recreate what was lost. So you see always a sort of collage between original elements, things which are very delicately repaired, things which are new, um, all in an attempt to make one new building out of one ruined building. Thank you very much. Sorry. Thank you.